Hey, what's up, guys? Footy Manager TV here, and I'm coming to you with another Ultimate Team episode of this Road to Glory, building from the bottom. And I'm going to play one more match. I'm going to keep doing these live matches with the face cam, that kind of thing. I'm going to be on the left side so you can actually see my coins. As you can see there, 1,603 with one win and two losses. As you saw, we had a couple losses there. Uh, one very bad one, but that was against a guy. Obviously, I can't prove it to you, but I played that. I still scored four goals, but he had a really good Premier League team. Um, pretty much a pace abuser as well, doing those long through balls that my slow bronze players uh, couldn't do much about. So hopefully, um, while I did rectify that with a 4-0 win, um, as you saw there against Nested FC, uh, that was very impressive. Uh, I'll show you in the squad uh, who scored the goals, that kind of thing. But Figley, as you saw in the first match, he was very lethal player for us, scoring goals. As you can see by the evidence, five goals in three matches. He's very impressive uh, doing uh, scoring goals. So, um, And if I look at my squad, uh, like what I'm going to continue to build with this, um, I've, I've already basically got three uh, players from Argentina. So I think I will look to build... Argentina team and hopefully um, I can get some quality players. I don't have so much coins obviously not going to open packs that kind of thing just going to um, Show you for other people in the same situation how you build from the bottom Obviously the name of the series so I am going to look for the, to build with Argentina players because They're probably the best players I have um, a bronze player with 75 pace as a defender is really good and also a silver player we got in the first pack um, Ron Caglia, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but I think that would be correct, Ron Caglia. Um, he's pretty small for a central defender, as you can see, 5 foot 10, but he's got good pace, so that's something to like about him. And obviously, like I said, uh, Bon Figli, um, playing in the MLS, uh, he's a very good striker. Unfortunately, only two-star skill, skill moves and three-star weak foot, but he's been scoring lots of goals, as you can see. Um, five goals in three matches, that's very impressive for a bronze player. And also... Um, the game I won 4-0, I gave Martin Owens a chance. Um, he's only yeah only 50 overall, so he's not that great, but he did pretty good. As you can see, he scored twice. Um, so he did well. And obviously, Skalarsson, as you saw, he scored a very good long shot goal, and he scored another one like that in one of the, the game I won 4-0, so very impressed with him. And also, I know you can do these... Uh, just I'll wait to show it until it comes up, like the tasks and that kind of thing. I'm going to wait till I my players like run out of contracts before I do all that kind of thing because I know people will say that you, to complete it and then you get a gold pack obviously but I want to just complete the season and just wait till my players contracts run out and apart from the players from Argentina and the rest I'll just quick sell basically because they never sell especially as ultimate teams getting a bit more um, yeah it's getting a bit older now but I'll get into the matches right now um, I'm trying not to be too loud a bit late at night so um, that's a reason if it's a bit more like commentary softer, that kind of thing. But um, I wanted to move into a match, like I said. And we only need to get two wins to get promoted. I think that's probably achievable, even though most matches will be hard. Uh, playing against better teams. I basically played it against just like gold Premier League teams. So I definitely will go into the next match. I'll try and win this match for a live match, obviously. And hopefully enjoy it. So leave your feedback. And for people that comment like on how I look or or my hair or something like that. I'm sure you definitely look better, but I'm not here to impress men. But, yeah, um, you can call me, like, gay or something. <laughs> yeah, you can call me gay or a faggot or something like that. And But, yeah, I don't waste my time commenting on guys if that's what you want to do, but that's your choice. Um, that's not what I do. So, yeah, but anyway, moving on from that, I'll just start this match right here. Um, I don't expect to win the matches because who knows you're going to... Okay, who knows what teams you're going to come up against. They're mostly going to be gold teams because it's pretty easy to get a gold team. You can get it for basically 5k, um, buying plays for 300, buy it now, 350, 400. So it's pretty easy to buy a team. I'm not going to get into how easy it is because I'm just here to play the matches. And hopefully we can get a win. Obviously here, this guy has a bad latency, which is not very good. Obviously want to have a good connection or it is... Um, not going to be a good match, obviously. As you can see, there's the other Irish strike we have there, 52 overall. Um, he's not very good. I uh, just got the Irish players in there because they're the default players we got to get the links. Uh, you got to have some. You got to have solid chemistry. You only got 55 or uh, 45 chemistry, but I'm not really caring about that. I'm just using these players until their contracts run out. Like I said, then I will look to build with Argentina players, and I think that could be a solid team. So leave some suggestions for cheap players uh, from Argentina, obviously. Again, waiting for a connection. 
the Indian priests. Obviously, this guy's from India, and I'm not here to play against someone from India because um, it's going to be a pretty bad connection as I played against them before. Um, I might as well wait till he finds a different opponent. Uh, I like my uh, current wide players. Uh, on the left side, we've got Andrea Cristiano, obviously from Italy, as you can see there. He's got pretty good pace uh, for a bronze player, and good shooting, good passing, good dribbling, and pretty good hitting as well. So he's well-rounded uh, for a bronze player. And also, Armiche, um, the Spanish player from Valencia, he's probably our most skillful player with three-star skills, three-star weak foot, and a pretty good dr uh, dribbling. Yeah, 65 and 77 pace. That's pretty solid. So let's see if we can find someone with a good connection now. And also, 4-4-2, it's a very underrated formation. Everyone looks to change it up. Um, I suppose people prefer to play with wingers instead of wide midfielders, but it's not a bad formation, but a lot of people like like just disregard it and like, like change it to a more popular formation. But 4-4-2, I find it very good. So hopefully we can get a better connection. It seems to be a green, very good, against the sickest dog. <laughs> Um, as his name is. So hopefully, um, I just want to show you my settings. I play with semi-shooting, uh, which makes the shots a bit harder, but that's how I like to play because you can get better shots like that. So hopefully I can do some good shots. And as you can see here, uh, he's got a pretty solid team, but with 82 chemistry, um, three defenders at the back, not a really pacey defenders, but from David Luiz, superstar, as you know, in Ultimate Team. Um, so very interesting to see how this match will pan out because he's still in the bottom division. He has a good team, but who knows, he may be a bad player. And again, um, second live match I've done, so I'm finding it like it's a bit hard, like talking and playing at the same time. But we'll just see how we go um, against obviously a more superior team, and hopefully we can get a good result here today. And if we get one more win, if we get a win in this match, I'm not sure if this guy's going to quit or something. But yeah, who knows? But anyway, like I said, uh, if we can get a win in this match, we're going to have six matches left, and we just need to get one win to get promoted. That'll be great for the amount of coins I'm going to get. And yeah, obviously that's a positive. Um, that's what uh, this part just right here. This is all about just making coins. And here, obviously, he wants to start to play right now. And let's see how we can go right now. It doesn't seem to lag too much, so uh, this should be a very good match. Uh, lately, it's been lagging for me, like during the day. But um, I'm, yeah, almost making a mistake already. So I think I'd better concentrate more on the match uh, before starting talking too much. But anyway, like I said, uh, it's been lagging a bit for me lately. But it's, uh, this match seems okay. Um, as you, nice through ball there, Amiche, but like I said, these players are so good. But here's the strength over Nani. Amiche tries some skills, but again, he decides to pause uh, for whatever reason. And yeah, like I said, I don't want to make these videos too long. That's one. Yeah, that's this is another thing I want to say. Obviously, I can't show every single match, and I just want to make sure that's okay. Um, because I'm, I've seen other people who've done Ultimate Team series like this, and they don't show every single match. They just show, like, like they do one match in each episode. And obviously, he quit. And I'm not sure if we're going to get the win or or a draw. Or, yeah, I have no idea. I've had no one quit. Yeah, 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 I'm not sure what happened with that. And I suppose you have to find another opponent. I'm not sure why he quit or not. Um, obviously, he had the better team. I would not quit if I was in his situation. So, yeah, I'm not really sure why he quits. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. So, um, I guess you have to try and find another opponent and try and get the win. I suppose maybe we get a chance to play against an easier team, but like I said, at this stage, a lot of people have great teams, and it's going to be hard to win. Um, like you saw at the start of that match, we created a chance, but obviously he wanted to quit, so we just have to wait here. And I suppose I'll talk about, like I said, like, some matches have been lagging for me. Maybe that's why quit was lagging for him. It's really hard to tell. And yeah, unfortunately, I only get good connection against people from Australia, so it's pretty tough um, to find good opponents, considering more people from Europe actually play the game and again someone le leaving the match and yeah there's not much you can actually do about that um, <laughs> and it's just hard with this team to get results the way it is um, we have an okay team like I was explaining with my um, wide players they're pacey well, at least for bronze players they've got an okay amount of pace like in the 70s obviously they're not like high 80s like a goal player would have and that's okay hopefully now we can find an opponent but I think the connection is still going to be red, or is it going to go go to green? Okay, let's just play, because um, I definitely would just want to get this done. And yeah, just keep going to orange to green. Like I said, haven't had a really good connection lately, but I do want to show uh, do these episodes um, of Ultimate Team, because the first episode had a very, very good reaction. And here we're playing against another person with three defenders, but look how good his team is. No idea how we're going to beat this. Maybe play for draw to pick up a point, not sure, but if I go two attacking... Look at that attack right there. It's just going to be too easy for him to score. 
and ultimate team it's easy to score in the first place uh, even before playing against a bronze team or a bronze with one silver player so I'll see how we go in this match just want to start off like, with controlling the ball make sure we don't give it away and I think this guy he must be Asian unfortunately from Australia we get paired against like players from Asia there's not much people not yeah there's not much you can do about that and then comes the button lag so I just have to concentrate a lot in this match and we can have a chance early Ooh. <laughs> of course, your play gets in the way, and offside, not sure what he was thinking there. Um, could have been a goal as well, it was going a bit wide. It was looked to be on target, but unfortunately it wasn't a goal. Um, it w was a good early chance. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. It was a very good early chance, and when you get those early chances, it's very good to ta you have to take the most of those chances. And yeah, goals are very important in Ultimate Team, especially as there's a lot of them with the attacking gameplay. I'm just tr trying to concentrate hard here. Uh, to make sure we don't concede a goal, that's like the main thing. And I can tell this match is kind of a bit laggy with button lag because I'm guessing he's from like an Asian country, as I'll show you for proof later. I'm guessing. Um, hopefully, anyway. So we're pressuring him good, forcing him just to run around our defenders. But again, everything feels slow, and it doesn't help when you have mostly bronze players as well. Um, but we seem to be defending like our players are getting back very well, so we should be able to defend here. Um, he tries to pass it, but of course. Our uh, defending is very solid, like I mentioned. Uh, players getting in right positions. Von Figli couldn't get past his man right there. Uh, Got to make sure we hold on to this, not conceding. A very good strength there, goalkeeper. Uh, and one thing I've noticed, like the bronze and silver goalkeepers, they're very bad in the game. Um, I don't. I suppose it's because of the sliders increase in ultimate team, of the shot power, that kind of thing. And the goalkeepers are pretty bad, unfortunately. But I suppose I have to go go out and buy a gold goalkeeper. Uh, to stand any chance of saving shots, like you saw, and by the big nine goals conceded, that was just, my goalkeeper is so bad, he saves no shots, basically, that's why I conceded so much in the other game, um, when I showed in results, like I said, uh, but the first game, it was a very good, we scored a few, but we conceded some as well, uh, conceded two goals in the 90th minute, um, so that we were about to win, <laughs> I'm sure you saw that, and yeah, that was unfortunate, but like I said, it was basically due to our having a poor goalkeeper, so, like I said, that is something I will look to rectify uh, when I actually have the coins to do so. But there is more important positions. I've got to buy players that can actually score goals, players with a bit of pace. We have a chance here. Try and get the fake shot again because that's basically the only skill we can do. And that was a close one, a very close one there. And we seem to be dominating, creating the more chances so far. So, that's very promising. And Balhout, he's like the really low-rated striker, not expecting too much from him. But he seems to be very good with his body. Um, seems very strong on the ball. So, but Bonfigli, he's obviously the key striker in the team, scoring most of the goals. I'll probably try and do too much with him now. And that's how people can lose matches when you try and do everything with one player. Unless, obviously, they're like Ronaldo or Messi, and you can do that. And this right fullback here, he's got an okay amount of pace. But when you play against goal players, and obviously stupid free kicks like that, um, you can get some pretty free kicks that aren't really worth it. Like, you just nudge them and they get a free kick. And, yeah, you get penalised for having strong players pretty much. But I don't really know the attributes of my players. I haven't really checked it out. But Bonfigli, he seems to get past his players well. Um, he doesn't really have good pace, but he seems to get past his players well. And passed to the wrong player there, but ended up scoring. Fantastic goal. Owens, the 50-rated player, scored his third goal in his third match. Fantastic player. And he wasn't the player I tried to cross it to, but that's the luck you get in Ultimate Team. I'm not going to talk about the assisted passing. That's a whole different story. And I suppose if I missed, I would be complaining right now. But anyway, very happy uh, to score that goal. But I have a bad feeling that we're going to concede. Well, not a bad feeling. I have a feeling we will concede eventually. Balhout uh, couldn't control it there. Bonfigli almost intercepting, getting back a bit. I like to bring my midfielders and forwards into defense just to make that extra number. I know some people do that and some people even complain about it, but... Um, yeah, you, the players don't run back by themselves, so you actually have to do it. And we have a chance to score here. Might have to go for the sweaty goal once again, just to ensure this win. <sighs> Unfortunately, we couldn't score there. Uh, Victor Valdez making a good save. That's the difference between the quality of our players. Like gold and bronze. Skalarsson, he scored some good goals from range. He's actually left-footed. <sighs> Not a bad try for a 64 overall player. And obviously 64, that's the maximum of a bronze card, so... Um, he's at the best, almost at silver level, so he's pretty good. Then Bauhaut, going to try and actually score this without sweating. <laughs> uh, uh, everyone sweats, basically, <laughs> uh, in the game, so I definitely go with the same, but I definitely try not score like that, but when you play against good teams, uh-oh, Owen's on again. 
Let's try this time. <laughs> yeah, come on. Balhout, the 52 rated strikers. I don't know if it, if other people notice this. For me, like low rated players seem to be um, actually better than they seem. Like that, I would imagine they'll be really poor. But whenever I start over again, like with the new club and play with these bronze players, I always score heaps. As you can see here, scoring two goals. Um, I've scored four goals twice so far, so very happy with that. And I know some people call it like handicap, but I doubt, or maybe just the players in the lowest divisions are bad. That's what my, I, my best guess would be. Um, so hopefully I will look to hold on to this lead, but they have a chance here. So looking to block the avenue to goal, and that's definitely a smart move to do. And like I said, sorry if the commentary is a bit quiet, because I have to be quiet, obviously, at night time, and this is the best time for me to make the videos anyway. So um, hopefully <laughs> it's okay and not too quiet, that kind of thing, but... Uh, anyway, uh, Bauhaut, he's on the 52 rated striker, tries to get past, was kind of a bit uh, in two minds there whether to pass it or keep running there. Unfortunately, he doesn't have too much pace as well, so um, that was a bit of a mistake. But we're doing well here to win 2-0. I think I may try and like slow it down here to make sure you go into halftime winning 2-0. And imagine if you were this guy, losing 2-0 with a, he as a goal team, um, fantastic players as well, would have spent heaps of coins. <laughs> no free kick for, I uh, had no words as you saw from that. Um, basically just trip me, um, knock me down, and no free kick. We seem to be very good winning from the tackles here, and Bog Figley again. I tried to chip that, I'm not sure why. I kind of, like I said before, get in two minds, not sure what to do. Especially when talking while playing, I get kind of confused with the controls, but I seem to be doing good, uh, winning 2-0. And yeah, hopefully you are enjoying this right now. And for all those people who want to comment on my hair or something like that, um, yeah, um, I'd love to see you go on YouTube and that kind of thing, Ben. Yeah, and I definitely, like I said before, want to wonder why you're making comments on guys judging how they look. Um, because, yeah, I definitely don't do that. And if you call me gay, what do you think you are if you're trying to comment on guys, how they look? And, yeah, I, yeah, I don't want to brag, like, talking about what girls think. But, yeah, I'm not, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to um, play and currently winning this match as I am, doing pretty good. Really, I'm not expecting to win, like I mentioned already. And Bob Figley, again, he just gets so much of the ball. Here's his running up. It was too late to shoot there, and yeah, I was about to press the lob, but like I said, with the lag, sometimes it takes a bit, but it actually doesn't seem too bad, the lag. Maybe I'll just get used to it, and here, uh, let me guess, he's going to sweat. No, nope, he didn't. Great save by the goalkeeper, contrary to what I was talking about before. He, very good save. I was really not expecting that, and was fully expecting him to sweat with the cutback, and I definitely want to keep this defended, but <laughs> and there's the evidence. Uh, like I said... Uh, two evidence of bad goalkeepers and also 45th minute goals, extra time goals, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, there's always increased chances, but definitely happy to score two goals. Um, so I don't concede in that <laughs> two goals in that period. And they're very lucky there. But I'm really happy to go in winning at half time against Messi Jr. FC. Iniesta, obviously good players in his team. And he's going to take a long time or he's going to get straight into it. Very happy with that. And as you can see here, uh, doing very well. 57% possession, 5 shots on target, and against a faster period team, so I'm very happy with how that is going. Just want to see how long this video is going. Yeah, not too long. About 18 minutes. Yeah, this is how long probably the episodes are going to go for, because I am going to do the live matches, and I don't really want to edit it, uh, So, because some people want to see the full matches, and nearly can see there. Yeah, I've got to really concentrate now to concede the goal, but like I said, I'm going to be showing full matches. Some people like that. I don't like editing it too much. And, yeah, just so you can see all the things I talk about as well, because I definitely like to um, talk to my subscribers a lot. I haven't really done that, because this is probably different to my career mode. I think that's slightly offside there. And the goalkeeper makes a clearance. I'm not sure if we can try here. If the goalkeeper is going to get back or not, yeah. <laughs> Bronze players aren't going to score from there. And like I said, this is going to be different. I'm only going to do this face cam thing. I'm not going to do it with career mode, because career mode is sort of a bit more serious than that kind of thing. Um, so I like to focus more on actually the action. Um, yeah, it's not yeah. For career mode, I find it better just to the face cam would make it a bit weird in my opinion. But yeah, that's just my opinion. I find it, it ultimate team sort of more attaining, entertaining. I should say, yeah, more entertaining. Um, <laughs> I was just seeing why I was thinking why we gave away a yellow card there. Yeah, ultimate team is more the entertaining mode. So definitely the face cam sort of suits that. And I will be starting a new channel for like PC games that I'll be doing face cam with, like fun games, that kind of thing. So leave suggestions for that, um, things that you think I could be entertaining for. And yeah, games you think will be entertaining, like for face cam, like to have fun and that kind of thing. So anyway, making another counter-attack. 
like I said, this right back we have here is very pacey. And obviously, like I said, the assisted passing again couldn't pass it to him. And here, could make the interception. But their players are too strong, as you can see. And hopefully, I, oh, it's hard to say. Look, I don't want to play too defensive because I do want to make it entertaining, as you can see here. Um, most players in this division, they just try and run past you with fast players. And that wasn't going to happen right there. Once again, taking loot, uh, too long, I should say, with the reaction to my passes. But yeah, that's the game, online play. Uh, lag, that kind of thing, and he doesn't even really look like getting a goal unless it's in the extra time period, uh, unless he does something here, no, Bessone, like I said, these Argentina players, they seem to do, be doing very good, as you can see here, continuing on with the run, and yeah, very good play, uh, Owens, the 50 rated player, very low rated, but he seems to be okay, as you saw by scoring, trying to get the ball in there, unfortunately, trying to go attacking if that's a corner, I'm not sure if it's a corner, but if it is, we could, no, nah, it's not a corner, uh, go back to balance, so I'm very happy because, like you saw the match before, I conceded nine goals. It was very disappointing, but it was a very good team. And he just had pacey players like a Bonglehor. And he was just doing through balls. and was impossible to stop with my bronze players. But Owens, again, the 60 rate, or 50 rate, I should say, another goal. M. Owens. I'm not sure if he's Michael, Matt, or something, but he's a superstar regardless of his first name. Now, look at that finish right there. With his left foot finesses it, you don't see too much of those shots. Um, and it really doesn't look like he's going to score, let alone win this match. As you can see, he's just trying to run past me. Like I always say, my, he, they think my players are ghosts just by trying to run past them, pretty much trying to run through my players, and it's not going to happen. Um, it's pretty easy to defend in the game, uh, apart from these people, I guess. They probably don't know how to defend properly, and that's why I score the goals. And yeah, you must be pretty hi humiliating to lose against a bronze team, but I don't want to talk about winning already uh, when there's a lot, a big part of the match to go. But here, um, yeah, this seems a bit... Oh... Could we score? No, it's offside. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure that was off. Of course, yeah, you got to be really careful of that. But when you're playing, you don't really, you get kind of, you're not sure if it's onside or offside, especially when it was really close like that. Um, yeah, like I'm really concentrating hard and now not to concede goals. Like, you know, in the last match, it was winning 1-0, then conceded two late goals in the 90th minute. And we had victory in our hands and then we just, it just slipped away with two late goals. So I definitely don't want to be in the same boat, even though we're winning by an extra goal this time. But Amiche, he's probably our best player. Um, hasn't really scored too much, but like I said, he's <laughs> of course he gets injury as well. I think this why that see exactly that's what I talk about. He runs around my player while he's injured just for fun. <laughs> yeah, so he's basically wasting time where he could be trying to get a goal. So or maybe he's actually a nice player um, waiting till my player gets fit. But yeah, I have no idea. I suppose it's just basically a guessing game. So here, yeah, I definitely want to hold on to the ball. Controlling the ball very well, as you can see, he just tries to clear it, um, pressing the repeatedly pressing the X button. Just have to take a look there, um, of which button is X. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Bonfigli, we're controlling the match. But obviously, controlling the match better than my play players are controlling the ball. Uh, anyway, we're gonna try a lob through ball there for Balhau, but again, these bronze players are really slow. Can we intercept? No, uh, very close there. Cristiano finds Bonfigli. Definitely want to try and get a goal for him. We should play the through ball. Amiche should finish again slow on the shot, but we're doing very well. We're the dominating team, surprisingly, in this match. And Skalarsson in the box. He's left-footed. Can we seal the match? <laughs> uh, not on that occasion, but it looks like we're very comfortable. And, yeah, the opposition hasn't really looked like scoring for the whole match, like I said, apart from the injury time goal. And, yeah, we're doing well. Bellhout, only 52 overall. My really low-rated low rated players, I should say, um, are doing very well. Cristiano, could he come in? Cristiano, obviously not Cristiano Ronaldo, like I said in the last episode. Owens, <laughs> that's really showing his true talents of a 50-overall player. But he's been doing very well, surprisingly, uh, scoring three goals in two matches, like I mentioned already. And yeah, I can tell my players are starting to get a bit slow. So this is the time I really have to be wary of and make sure I don't concede because we, really, we have the win right here and I don't want to let it go. So I may just... Uh, hold on to the result, but as you can see here, um, he's making a play, uh, going very attacking, and <laughs> there's not much uh, room for me to pass to, so I have to go back and just control this ball here with our Asian goalkeeper. As you can see, it might be lagging a bit now, and yeah, I'm not sure if he's making it lag, as you know, uh, some people do, but yeah, it seems to be going for uh, another injury. That's two injuries like that in the same game, so... Um, I'm not going to call that a scripting or anything. That's just part of part and parcel of the game, and you've got to deal with that. And um, obviously, with lower-rated players, they have lower fitness levels, and 
especially with sprinting for the whole match. I usually hold sprint uh, for the majority of the game, so that doesn't help when you have low-rated players as well. But here, Armiche, the injured player, as you can see with his touch, was pretty bad. I might try and get it back to him. Armiche, fantastic play. Armiche, he's injured, but he still scored. Fantastic goal and fantastic performance. We should get heaps of coins from this match. And like I said, this has been a great performance. <laughs> I really was not expecting this, but you really don't have, to, you shouldn't really worry when you see your opponent has a way better team than you. Don't just don't worry about that. All you have to do is just um, focus on how you play your game and don't really worry about the opposition. I suppose if they have really pacey players, you have to worry about. You've got to be wary of like the Agbong Lahors and the Wellingtons, those kind of players. But all in all, you just got to. Uh, focus on your way of playing, how you normally play, and if you do that, as you can see, he knows how Ultimate Team work, works, obviously, and went for like one of those long shots. But would, I may actually uh, look to score again, maybe to get some extra coins. But I'm very happy to pick up the win, even if he scores here. Um, is that game over? And that's just offside. As we go into the 90th minute, uh, as you can see, he's going full attacking. He can't win anyway. Uh, it's going to be over. Let's see if he can score right at the end. See, he's just going for those long shots. That should be over yet. Yeah, is it over? And now we're still going. As you can see, Key High, my goalkeeper, um, he made one bad mistake, but he did one good, very good save. Okay, actually, I'm going to go full attacking here, try and get that fifth goal. You know, fifth goals, five goals are the most you can get um, for the bonus of coins, that kind of thing. Then Bog Figley cut, cuts in. I've been talking about him. He deserves a goal. He doesn't get it on the first attempt, on the second attempt either. Unfortunately, Bog Figley couldn't get his goal there. But fantastic performance here. Got to give a clap for the boys. Uh, very good, scoring four goals against a far superior team. Just going to want to take a look at his at the opposition's team again. Look at that Falcao, Benzema, Ozil, um, Andreas Iniesta, Xavi, Xavi Alonso as well. Fantastic attacking players. Defense is very good as well. But I suppose Mascherano, very small defender. And we basically dominated that match, got a good amount of coins. Like in the match details, nine shots on target, more possession, and more passing accuracy. Uh, pretty much everything, 17 shots um, overall. So that was very good. Uh, so I'll just advance here, um, and the next episodes, I'm not. I'm probably going to play. Play, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to play through this, and yeah, obviously to get that extra win, get promoted. Then I'm, my next episode is probably just going to be me, be of me trading and try and get other players. Like I said, players from Argentina. Hopefully, just got to see how it goes. And yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I'll just go through this, uh, so you can see the ultimate coin, <laughs> the coins I have. Um, should be over 2,000 right now. It is two wins and two losses. Very happy with the team I have. Uh, 2,300. And we should get maybe around 4,000, 5,000 by the end of the season. And that it looks it's looking really solid right now. So let's see. Uh, Bonfili, he, I'm not sure. Did he score in that match? I don't think he did, um, unfortunately. But anyway, there's that match. Um, very good result. Very happy the win against that guy with super players like Benzema, Falcao. Good strikers, as you've seen. So uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And like I said, all these videos, hopefully you can concentrate on the video and not my face. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.